exhilaration of a Super Bowl victory means more than claiming football's most coveted trophy. For some, it's about making good on a promise. You Thank promise, you. man, you came through, man. You're a champion, Thank baby. you for everything, Buster. You hear me? Some have explained it as man's finest hour. Others find it inexplicable. I can't express my feeling right now. It's fantastic. For the Buccaneers' Levante David, victory in Super Bowl 55 was a testament that winning it all must include winning the respect of your peers. Go. Oh. We're going to be forever remembered, dog. I love you too, bro. Yeah. Well, definitely, bro. I love you, bro. For that span, my first eight years, it wasn't you wasn't getting it done. We dropped two touchdowns and missed the one wide open tonight. Let up, dog. Gotta learn from you. That's it, bro. Go ahead and play your ass off. You balling out and you know you're not gonna make the playoffs. It could be a point where you're like, man, what I'm doing this for? We ain't make the playoffs, so forget it. Like, there ain't no point in doing it, but. Ah! That's when you know who, who your real ballers are and are the guys who you really feel like you could lean on, guys who you really count on. Good job, man. As you get older and you get the respect of your peers and the respect of your coaches, you kind of you see and you understand that, like, things you do, you got to switch it up a little bit because guys watching me, watching the way I work. David led the Bucks in tackles in each of his first four seasons and earned All-Pro honors in 2013. Levante David got to the ball carrier in the backfield. But in his fifth season, David suffered a personal tragedy. It was 2016, one of the worst moments of my life. It was my worst season. Like, the day before was the last day I seen her alive, and it was crazy, and she was just smiling and happy. And then the next day, she's just gone. Like. I wouldn't wish that on nobody, man. Like... David lost his mother, Lynette David, to diabetes complications. My mom passed away, Lynette David. Make sure I see her every morning before I walk out the house, so I gotta have her right there. That's why she's right in front of my room. So when I walk out, I see her, tell her I love her, give her a kiss, and I go. I... Honestly, it's the first time in my life I really didn't care about football because the person who I'm really doing it for is not there to watch me play. Yeah. As David continued to lead with a heavy heart, the Bucks organization continued to put pieces in place for playoff contention. I got a call from B.A. after we hired him. He was like, man, I, I, I watched you play for a long time. I respect you. I know a lot of people in the locker room respect you. I know the organization respect you, man. Um, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna turn this thing around. Just stick with me. In 2020, David and the Buccaneers saw things falling into place. Picked off by Levante David. Play action thing, sold by Rodgers. And he sacked. Levante David gets his second sack of the game. Finally, it turned around. My whole leadership style changed big time because a lot more was required of me as far as talking. We need every man out here tonight. I gotta make sure everybody doing what they're supposed to do. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. The point where I kind of felt like we was capable of going all the way was the, the losses, actually. The Kansas City Chiefs hang on. Talking to Tom, we was at a facility, he was like, I guarantee you we going 8-0. <laughs> he said that. The new offensive leader and the old defensive leader took the Bucks to the playoffs for the first time in David's career. I got that much respect for my guys, and they got respect for me, so they're like, we got to do this for Vontae. You know, Vontae been here for all those years, and he never been in his moment before. He'd been through those bad times. Tough duty for the Bucks linebackers today. In Super Bowl 55, David faced his biggest test. <laughs> the Super Bowl champs. You got your first one, baby. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. At the house? At the house. You did that at the house? At the house, dog. Hey? Your first time in the playoff at day? At the house, bro. I remember before going out for that game, Tom didn't talk all year in the pregame. 
good. Yeah. One thing that he said that stuck out to me, if you win this game, you are gonna be honored. <laughs> your family gonna be honored and your legacy forever. Legend, Legend dog. So when the confetti drop, that was the most enjoyable moment. Dang, like, when my mama could see this, like, she'd be proud of me, like, like, she got a chance to experience that and see me climb and grow throughout those years. And finally, man, my baby boy is a Super Bowl captain of a Super Bowl team. Hey, it's been a long road. It's worth it, bro. bro. Nine years. Nine years. You look so bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> he did it. Nine years. <laughs> champion, bro. Good champion. What up, baby? Did I tell you? Yes, sir. She's near. She's watching. All the hard work paid off.